Hi Kinder Friends, Miss Schmidt here. I wanted to share this story with you. It's called Antarctica and it's about one of the polar regions. Um, as you saw in the last video I did, um, there are two polar regions. There's the Arctic and Antarctica and both are different. Both have different animals. So I'm going to share this story with you. Just wanted to show you one more time on the map that um, Antarctica is down here. It's in the southern, the South Pole, the Southern Hemisphere, um, and the Arctic is up here. So the book I'm reading today is about Antarctica. So here we go. Antarctica. Kind of a cool pages in here. Antarctica. In the cold far south in Antarctica, live emperor penguins, Weddell seals, and Adelie penguins. The emperor penguin lays her eggs in winter, when it is dark both day and night. Then she leaves to feed at sea. When she is gone, her mate carefully nestles the egg on top of his feet for two months. Pretty amazing. Um, Here's something interesting, quickly a little pause. When I look here, we live up here in America. Um, we are in the Northern Hemisphere, so that's like the top. And it's winter for us right now up here, but in the Southern Hemisphere, it's actually the opposite. So it's actually summer down here. Like if you were in Australia, it's their summertime right now. And so Antarctica, it's summer in Antarctica. And when we have summer in the Northern Hemisphere, it is winter down here. And that all has to do with the sun and how the earth tilts and moves around the sun, which is something you'll learn about um, as, we, as you get older and learn more things about how the world works. So when this book says um, they lay their eggs in the winter, that actually happened during our summer. So this already happened this year for the emperor penguins. So the egg is on top of the father's feet for two months, 60 days. He huddles in a tight circle with his friends against the freezing winter storms. Meanwhile, his mate is feeding at sea where danger lurks. A ferocious leopard seal. This picture, it doesn't look very ferocious because it has these nice friendly eyes, but really in real life, leopard seals are very dangerous animals. Luck is with the emperor this time. She leaves the water safely and trudges back to the rookery. That's where a bunch of penguins live together. It's called a rookery. There's great excitement because their chick has just hatched. How cute. Still on top of dad's feet. But the male emperor is hungry and weak. It is his turn to go to sea to find food. When it is spring, the sun at last shines again in the Antarctic sky. A Weddell seal climbs onto the ice to have her pup. A baby seal is called a pup, just like a baby dog is called a pup, too, or a puppy. The Adelie penguins have also come onto the ice. On their long journey to the rocky shore where they will lay their eggs, they pass the emperor chicks. Look at them, getting bigger. The Adelies build their nests out of pebbles. They take turns keeping the eggs warm until the hatching. Not the most comfortable nest to be, have it built out of on top of rocks. Just beyond the nesting place, some men have built a base camp. Suddenly, the Adelies hear a terrible whirling noise. Helicopters. They panic and leave their eggs unguarded. Skuas swoop in to have a feast. Sometimes this happens in nature. Everyone's just trying to survive. So sometimes 
that happens where eggs are eaten. Frightened by the helicopters, the Adelis will not nest here again. So because humans disrupted their nesting place, they're not going to nest there anymore. The emperors, too, are uneasy. They have heard huge explosions and seen ice and rock hurled high into the air. Out at sea, anxious songs ring out from the depths. Weddell seals call to their friends under the ice. Metal hulls are pushing through the pack ice, banging, crunching, booming near. A hull is a part of the ship, the bottom part of the ship. So there's ships, there's a lot of people disturbing Antarctica. The penguins and the seals have always shared their world with ancient enemies, the skuas and the leopard seals. But these new arrivals are more dangerous. The seals and penguins cannot tell yet whether they will share or destroy their beautiful Antarctica. Nice. Part of being human is that we have to take care of the earth and the planet. So we have to make sure when we do research or visit or explore different places in the world that we always are respectful of the animals that live there because we don't want to disturb them. So that's a story about Antarctica. Antarctica, again, is where penguins live. Um, and so I'd like you, just for fun, down below to draw a penguin just to see if you can draw one. There's actually lots of different kinds of penguins, but the most famous ones are probably the emperor penguins. They're pretty tall. They're about as tall as a kindergartner. Um, so they're the tallest of the penguins. But so there you go. All right, good luck. Draw a penguin. And I hope you learned a little bit about Antarctica. Um, next week in science, we're going to learn a little bit more about Antarctica. And then we'll start talking about the Arctic, the North Pole too. So, all right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.